Hey guys, it's Annie and Piper, and I wanted to do my video on all of the babies I've painted so far. So Piper's here, she just had her bath, and she's getting ready for bed, she's teething, it's so sad. So, yep, there's Piper. <laughs> Uh, and here we go. Okay, so I thought I would do this kind of in order of when I painted them. So I'll just go ahead and get started. So I started painting probably about two and a half, three months ago. Um, and I haven't, I have not looked back. So. I've just fallen in love with it. Um, it's just been really relaxing and something that I love doing. And um, yeah, so anyway, so let's start over here. So I started with, uh, I hope you can hear over the <laughs> Sesame Street, but I started with um, air dry paints. And I start so I was using um, Luminaire uh, so I use that on, on this this little one is twin twin B and these are air dry paints so this she was pretty much my first at attempt well that's not true the first one ended up in the garbage this one <laughs> Uh, did not so um, so we did the air dry paint so I used luminaire and it, I just couldn't um, it wasn't they, they just didn't work the best for me so I wanted to try um, another brand and I had seen a bunch of people using reborn um, FX paints so so that's what I used for uh, little Miss Ashley awake and her face she so she she's really cute but her I, you know this is kind of the progression um, overdoing it with the paint so her face is too red um, and the hair dry paints are a lot different than than the the heat set paints um, but you know I, I it was just starting so so these are the two, the first, first two um, that I did. And then Mr. Connolly over here. Now this is where I kind of started really um, seeing the, the product, you know, that I really liked and really wanted to get better and keep improving. So he's done with air dry paints as well. Um, and he's super, I love this sculpt. So those are his hands. Um, I really had to practice with not overdoing it with the paints, you know, using thin, thin layers. Um, he currently had a couple different hairdos. <laughs> he has a wig. So these guys that have hair have wigs on them. I'm st uh, the rooting, it's just, oh yeah, yeah. I'll get it, but it's taking some time. I do root the eyelashes. Um, I root the eyelashes on the closed-eyed babies and then do uh, glue on the, the open-eyed babies because it's really difficult to get past the, the glass eye. It's just, it's easier. Uh, okay, and so there's Mr. Connolly. So he's a Connolly sculpt by Andrea Arcello. Um... And I, you know, I'm really, I've just been watching tutorials. And so then I decided I wanted to take a crack at the heat set paints. So I keep the, I have a new wave oven that I put outside. Um, so, you know, there's no fumes or anything in the house. And that's when I, I use it on the porch outside. Um, so this was my first baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Piper. She's so good. I feel so bad for her. Her teeth hurt. Okay, so this is the first baby I did with the Genesis set heat paints. And this is Phoenix by Andrea Arcello. And it, he, well, I made him a she. 
Um, and it's so different from the air dry paints. It, right now I'm just kind of going over, showing you the progression of, you know, the difference at each baby kind of I learn something. Um, in this case, I learned how to kind of deal with the, um, the varnish. A lot of the, so the heat set paints can get chalky, which I really do, don't really know. I didn't know. Um, you have to use like a really thin amount. And so that I was playing around with that, but, but I thought she turned out really cute. And then I just painted, painted her hair. Um, and then I, so I used a Prisma pencil. This was, I was still kind of getting used to the pattern of the hair and I'm still practicing. It's, you know, I've only been doing this for a few months, but, and I just find that like, I, it, don't be scared to try, just do it. Like if it's the only way you're, at least it's the only way I learn is if I screw it up, you know, at least for next time I know. Um, Okay, so then we did Saskia, and I really like, so I made her as a girl. She, I love this sculpt too, she was so much fun to paint, and you've seen her. Um, so there's her hair, this one I kind of, I really went to town with the, the hair. I, I, again, just practicing and kind of seeing what works, and getting used to the paints um, and all that. So there's oh, little Miss, uh-oh. Okay, let's go over here. Saskia, and then here's her, her little hands. And the other thing was, so getting the veining right, um, which is always, you know, a challenge. Um, and then the fingernails, I, my husband got me a, a light with a magnifying uh, glass in it so I can see because it's difficult to get the nails right and not make them look like, you know, a French manicure because that doesn't look normal. It doesn't look realistic to me. So I really liked her. Um, and then I did Mr. Levi. Oh. All right, so here's Mr. Levi. He needs some hair. I had a wig on him, but it just didn't look right. I really want to get the rooting thing down, because, oh, anyway. But I, he, so he was another one that, he's so fun to paint. He, you know how I feel about Levi. I, I'm currently painting another one. Um, so, so here's, here's his little hands. I don't know, something happened, his hands are kind of, I think they got like, in the oven, they must have gotten smushed or something. That's the other thing with the vinyl, you have to be really careful. Um, so each time I'm really just kind of learning. I can't wait, so I'm gonna go to the Rose Doll Show and take a class and I'm super excited to really have someone teach me uh, you know, a little more and the mottling you know that's another thing that you kind of have to really practice 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 and then it, you move the more layers I mean so you can put I think he was the first one that I actually did like a blue mottling layer on um, so there's like a blue mottling and then a purple mottling and all these different things that you just kind of play around with. And there's so many tutorials. I, so the first one I used was the Miracle, uh, Miracle. I'm gonna, I'll link it down below, but um, she, she had, had a, like a Luminaire tutorial, but I, I watched hers over and over again to just kind of, she's like so easy to follow and it really gave me the confidence to be able to, to start. Okay, and then here's my Ashley asleep. Um, she's so little. And sometimes I find it easier to paint the, I didn't, I need to kind of touch up her hair. The, um, 
the bigger dolls because the little ones are so many tiny crevices and everything. So there's Miss Ashley. I hope you guys like this. I'm just kind of showing you um, what I've done. And I again, I did it, I'm doing it in order that I made them. Uh, and then you saw um, Twin B. So she does have a wig and a little bow. So what I do with the wigs is I've kind of, I put glue under just a light layer underneath like the, the bottom layer of hair so that so it doesn't like flip you know how wigs kind of like can flip up, up like a toupee so then it's more natural and you can brush it and everything so there's her little twin A I just can't wait to get the rooting down her little fingers this is so awkward. This <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't tell you how many tutorials I've watched. It's crazy. And then here's my little Tink. So we had a little issue with the hair. <laughs> so she, she has a little wig. Um, but I think it's super cute. You know, for now. I mean, it's mohair. It's, they're expensive. These wigs are like, pain, 20 to $50, so. And, and they last, I mean, they really hold up pretty well, so. And she has glass eyes. This one, so I made another one I'm sending to my grandma. Actually, she's going out. I love Tink's little hands. I hope you can see okay. So there's her little fingers. And I need to start selling these dolls because I don't have any more room. I don't have any room. So if anyone wants a baby, they're very reasonably priced. Um, so there's little Tink. And then this is my most recent one. So I have a peanut sculpt that I am rooting as a full head of hair. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. But this little girl is my favorite. This is June. I This was the one I really kind of tested my uh, painting skills and just did layers, thin, thin layers, and just a bunch of them. And I'm so happy with how she turned out. And I'm, I, I'm a beginner, you know, really, but I'm just really having such a good time doing this. Um, so this is the Bountiful Baby June Realborn, and she's so cute. She's a chunky monkey. Look at her little arms. Here, let's see if you can see a little better. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with her hair. I wanna root it, I really do. Look at her arms, isn't she cute? So, and there's Miss June. She she just came out not that long ago. And I so I got gutsy and gave her a scratch on her nose. It's so funny when I show these dolls to to my family, like my mom, or what, they're just like, what? they think it's amazing. I mean, it's just because they really never seen these dolls, so. It's neat to share, share them. And then here's her little legs, her feet. So there they are. So this was just, you know, to kind of show, show the babies I've made. Um, don't be scared. If you want to paint, just do it. It's so much fun. And if you screw up, screw up. Trust me, I've done it. I still, like, you know, you mean. But it's just so much fun to, like, look back and be like, oh my gosh. 
you know, and I feel like it's only been a few months, so I'm really excited just to really meet some people at the Rose Doll Show and just, just really learn, because I've just been teaching myself, so, so that's them. And there's Piper. <laughs> what are you doing? Can you say hi? You say, I'm tired and I'm teasing, but I'm the best baby in the whole world, huh? Yes. Can you say bye-bye? <laughs> say thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or any um, tips or anything, I would love to hear it. Because I really have just been doing this on my own. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, we will see you soon. Keep up, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.